I am Anil Kumar. Let us continue with test questions on factoring. This time we have six terms. Let us factor a square b square minus 2abc plus c square minus 25m square minus 10mn minus n square. Now these six terms could be treated as combination of two trinomials, right? Now it becomes simpler to factor, right? In the first trinomial, we need product as this is like a minus b whole squared. You see, let me rewrite this to make things simpler. We could write this trinomial as a b whole squared minus, we'll get to this term later. Here we have c squared with plus sign. Now here we have two times a b, right? A b and c that means two times both these terms so that means this is a perfect square right so this part could be actually written as a b minus c whole square do you realize that perfect now let's look into the next trinomial let me take minus common first right so if i take minus common i'm left with 25 m square plus 10 mn plus n square. Now this is also a perfect square. I could write this as 5m plus n whole square, right? So I could write this as 5m plus n whole square, right? Now if you expand this, you'll get 25m square plus two times these terms. So, so 22 times 5 is 10, right? Mn plus n square you get the idea right so that is how we could actually factor it now we can apply difference of squares where we can treat this term as x and that as y right so it is kind of x square minus y square which could be written as x plus y times x minus y so x plus y when I say I'll write this as a b minus c this is my x plus y that means plus 5m plus n that is x plus y we got the first term and the next term will be x minus y that is a b minus c minus of this term will be minus 5m minus of that will be minus n so that is the factory for the given expression right there are six terms in the given expression so that is how you could actually factor the given expression i hope that helps thank you and all the best